The Time Traveler's Grammar Mastering, When, in Relative Clauses Hello Language Explorers! Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey through time using English grammar. Specifically, we're going to focus on defining relative clauses and explore how the word, when, combines with time-related nouns like day, year, and time. This topic might sound a bit complex, but don't worry, we will go through it step by step. So, buckle up and let's dive in. A defining relative clause is a type of clause that we use to give essential information about the noun it follows. If we remove this clause, the meaning of the sentence can change dramatically. We often use words like who, which, and when to start these clauses. Today, we're particularly interested in when. The word when is a relative pronoun we use specifically to refer to a time or a period. For instance, consider this sentence. I will never forget the day when I first met you. In this case, when introduces a defining relative clause, when I first met you, that describes the day. We often use when with time-related nouns. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Day. I remember the day when we won the championship. 2. Year. 1999 was the year when we moved to New York. 3. Time. This is the time when we should stand together. In each case, the word when introduces a defining relative clause that provides vital information about the time noun. Day, year, time. It's also important to note that in informal English, it's common to omit when. I remember the day we won the championship. And that's it for today's lesson, fellow language explorers. Remember, the key to mastering defining relative clauses, especially when using when with time-related nouns, is practice, practice, practice. Incorporate them into your day-to-day -day conversations and writings. Thank you for joining us on this grammar journey through time. Keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.